Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode what we did was found Sarah, she turned into a crystal woman, and that was nice. And now what we're gonna do is go have a word with the Pulse Falsi. She will be very eager to talk to us. So this is the Falsi. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Now let her go! Please, turn her back. I'll be your Lissi instead! You go on begging, like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started, and it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die. <laughs> Uh oh, you said the trigger word. This thing needs to die as its code word to activate the drills of fucking. Should have kept running, Hope. You would have made it out. Come on now. You really think you can kill a Falsi? I'm doing this for Sarah. Let's do it. It's Anima. Anima is a famous Final Fantasy summon. Someone else attack it. There we go. Thank you. Right now, we just now it gets to start initiating the generation on the arms. The arms don't stay gone for very long, but it means we don't get hit. It's actually like recommended to just hit one. This thing has 3300 health and is level 88. Has a uh, stagger point of 300, which we're never going to be able to reach in our current position. Right, so now we did this. Let's kill one of the hands. I need to kill both. Just the one will do. Right, now kill the uh, anima. And now I might actually want to heal. Heals 150. That's more than enough to heal this all the way to full. Pretty much. Could you not? Right now we need to kill the uh, hand. Because it's what's... I think it's hitting us. Because it has nothing else to do. Yeah. It can't hit us while it's trying to initiate regeneration. But I think doing the extra damage to it might help us save some time. Although maybe I lose time having to heal. Who knows? All I know is I'm not doing it again. So if it brings the hands back again, I'm just going to attack it now. There we go. 
five stars, baby. We got the doctor's code. When I couldn't see a future, and I was afraid. When the future was clear, and it hurt to see. I'd just close my eyes, and lose myself in happier days. Well, there you are then. So, uh, everyone's dead, right? Maybe not. The game's still going on, so we're clearly not dead. Welcome to Day 11, Seaside City of Bodom. Remember that all that took place on the 13th day, so this is two days ago. Making a wish? <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Hmm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh? I'll see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <laughs> we'll figure this thing out. 
You will never be one of those monsters. <laughs> so what will I be? A crystal? Yesterday at the store, I got us something. <laughs> we don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. I will stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! I love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wish that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Gorgeous. Our own private heaven. All we need. Just you and me. Thank you, Snow. I'll say one thing about the game. The cutscenes are mwah, and fucking tastic. Oh, I'll save my progress for the uh, end of the episode. Certainly is. This is a lake. Looks more like ice mountains. This must be Lake Brescia. Well, I guess we fell from up there. And the lake turned to crystal? 
Help me out here. I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? We're alive. How? Sarah! No one survives a fall from that high. Not without a miracle. Sarah saved us! Sarah? Listen. It's all your fault. She got... Hey, hey, hey! Watch out! Alright, well, I guess we're first let's see now. The story extends the use of power, I'm sure, why not? It's important. You can assign characters the most effective roles for a given situation by changing your party's paradigm. You can switch between paradigms as often as you like. First, press LB to access your party's paradigm deck. Each paradigm assigns specific roles to the members of your party. These roles define the spells and abilities available to a party member, as well as their general behaviour in combat. There's a wide range of paradigms to choose from. Offensive paradigms concentrate on dealing damage to enemies, while defensive paradigms focus on party protection and healing. It's very important to shift paradigms to suit your situation. You can press to scan the paradigms available and see the list of roles that each comprises. Your current paradigm, Relentless Assault, is an offensive paradigm in which multiple attackers coordinate their efforts. The paradigm's two ravagers target whichever enemy the commander attacks with the goal of quickly filling the enemy's chain gauge in order to stagger it. If you wish to continue using the Relentless Assault paradigm, just press B to close the paradigm deck. If you wish to change paradigms, select the new paradigm and press A. <laughs> One of your party members has just taken damage. Now might be a good time to open your Paradigm deck with LB and shift to a defensive Paradigm like Solidarity. Shifting to Solidarity will cast Snow in the role of a Sentinel, boosting his defences so he can shield others from enemy ire. Anil's role will change to Medic, causing her to concentrate on healing wounded allies with a Cure spell. Once your party has recovered its strength, you can shift back to Relentless Assault and continue battling the enemies. I don't need to. So one thing you'll notice is magic very quickly fills up the uh, stagger gauge, whereas uh, commandos don't. It's very slow. However, Relentless Assault right now will do for pretty much all of our situations. So I'll leave it. However, yeah, we're Lissy now. Oops. So we really are Lissy. You too? Yeah. Right here. Okay. Let's see to the last. Why me? I don't even know you! But you have to go and attack that thing? Just leave me alone! It's your fault. It's your fault, my... You could've... All of this is your and Sarah's fault! Watch it! <sighs> Sorry. Everything's gonna be alright. You'll see. Come on! Okay, Vanille. But where's Lightning's Lassie brand? See, huh? Yep. We're all playing for Team Pulse now. Find me. Go check for treasure. You never know. Square of wily ones. I'll put aggression on as well, because that's a useful. I can't change my team. Okay, so I use Vanille right now. Not Saz. Okay then, right. A commando or aggression is useful when a, a member of the enemy team is like really resistant to magic. 
Benil can't be a commando, so she might as well keep using magic. That's why I said you won't see the magical three prong yo yo very much anymore. Okay, if we don't know our focus, how do we complete it? I think I saw it. Saw what? That is how a focus comes down, people. The foul see? They don't spell it out with clear cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. Mm -hmm. Legends. <laughs> Did you see anything? <sighs> I, uh, I just. It's all kind of foggy, but I saw this big, I mean, towering. What? What? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Ragnarok. So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. I mean, that was our focus, but how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're a pulse let's see, right? Enemies are cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to save her? Say what? Our focus is to protect cocoon. Really? Okay, and why's that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, I'll come too! Wait! Jeez. That boy can't stay still. Really? Lightning is not impressed. We have lightning, snow, and vanille. Ah, Crystarium. Excellent. I will explain that myself. I don't need the game to explain it for me. It takes ages. Uh, right. So, Crystarium is how you level up. Our Crystarium points are 101 right now. So, I don't think anything I did in the Bulls Vestige actually counted. Um, as you can see, we have different roles we can learn. Command of Avager. Commander Ravager and Sentinel. Ravager and Medic. Ravager, and that's it. And Ravager, Synergist, and Medic. So, with our skill points, we can actually increase our strength and abilities. So, the first thing we do is upgrade to strength plus four. Can't do any more, it costs too much. As we go along the board, it starts to cost more and more and more. Everything costs 60 right now. Uh, I'm going to increase the magic and HP of snow. Because why not? It makes sense. That's all I can do as well. Uh, some things are cheaper than other things. Like skills that aren't really supposed to be their main skill actually end up... They tend to be cheaper than anything else. As for everyone else, let's do Ravager. That's all we can do. And I guess for hope, I'll do Synergist because we need one and no one else is going to be one for a while. And we can actually get some cool skills like Protect, Libra, if we keep going. Can't keep going yet, but eventually we can get Strength up, uh, Bravery and Faith and increase Later. our power, which is something I'm all about. So that's basically how you level up. You now get CP, which is Crystallion Points, which you use to get more stats. And that's the main point of it. And skills, but mainly stats. So can I increase his magic more by putting this back? Yeah, I can. If I'm going to be attacking with magic, I should be putting my magic stat up more. Magical attacks do way less damage than normal attacks. Just by the way. But... 
We also have that. So I killed all four of them in one hit. That's really good. Just too easy. And we're getting more stats up as we go along. And we got 19 CP for that fight. So now you can see how that works. A little bit of the menu gets added. So I'm going to wait until I have about 1,000 and then upgrade all at once. I don't like upgrading every single node. I'll take the lack of power for a while to uh, do it all in one go. Bosses also give you a lot of abilities. Farwing Staff is just a better magical weapon, which is what you want to use for Manil anyway, so that's all good. When I get a little bit more freedom, I'm going to mix up the rolls a lot and make it so that our party is super... Uh, not good, <laughs> essentially. And the reason why I make it not good is to make the game harder for myself. And because I've never tried to do it before. I've always used optimal or tried to be min maxi with my abilities. Now I'm going to just say fuck it and do what I want to do. Like, I'm going to make Hope a commando as soon as I'm able to. Which will take a while yet, but... But let's fight. Let us fight. I think whites also can't block magic. Which is a good thing about them. So that's why I'm using Ruin. Ruin is a non-elemental magic. But there's damage based on our uh, element of zero or it's, it's magic that does damage based on our attack stat, I think. And they can't dodge it. So I guess they're trying to show you that we weren't at full strength with those whites because we couldn't hit them. Seven chipped fangs. Alright, we're getting some materials. Eventually we're going to be able to upgrade our weapons and things. So we will do that soon. Man, show me what you get. Does the power bangle increase our power by 10 or is it... Oh, it's 20. It's also not a percentage. Okay. I'm going to want percentage gear as soon as possible because it's going to be better than our other gear. I mean, everyone's pleased about our magic. but it makes us stronger, doesn't it? to stop us from putting it to good use. This is quite true, Snow. Sometimes I agree with what you say and other times you're a blithering idiot. This is one of those times where you're like, yeah, I'm cursed and that's not good, but we can use it for strength. <laughs> we fight it. Ragnarok. <laughs> that's the reason we're Lassie. To stop it. To keep Cocoon safe. Yeah, why don't you give us one reason to believe that? One reason, Sarah. <laughs> She said to protect Cocoon, and then she turned to Crystal. That's the proof right there. She completed her focus. That means ours is to save Cocoon. It could also have meant her focus was, the same was to ours. bring us there. Our focus has got to be the same. We were chosen to be guardians, to defeat Ragnarok. It makes sense. What the hell it does? You're grasping at straws, son. Post Falci are Cocoon's enemies. We just got recruited by one of them. If I were a betting man, I'd put us on the other side. So Sarah's an enemy too? Well, I don't buy it. We have the power to save Cocoon if we work together and carry out our focus. The Falsy took Sarah from us, and you want to help it? Whose side are you on? Freeze! Huh? Place your hands behind your heads! You fall off the purge train? Maybe. Are you talking back to me? Huh? Huh? Nice gun. <laughs> <laughs> Try me, big boy. Command execution. This is for if you want to use abilities yourself. But I've already shown you how to do that. Sometimes it's useful. Most of the time it's not. Like, I could have got away with doing two attacks there. But you already know how to do separate abilities. You press triangle when you want to stop. That's a psycho, yeah? Even a crap. Yeah, but Psycom's an anti-pulse task force. They haven't fought a war in centuries. A bunch of rookie troops swinging around overpriced toys. So, from what you're telling me, 
Sounds like a regular old soldier who's got more training than special forces. Nothing for us to see to be afraid of. Cut the crap. Their grunts might be green, but Psycom's elites are cold-blooded beasts. They hit the field and it's game over. Uh-oh. Then let's run away. Ciao! Wait, hey, hey, wait! <sighs> What's a man to do? <laughs> We're gonna do with these crazy kids. Taz. I reckon he's at least 40. I think it does say their age somewhere. Probably in the guidebook. Or the data log. Let's have a look. No. Pals, no. Green Society, no. Pal C, no. I don't think the data log has info on the characters yet. Okay, let's go. Onward. Always moving forward. Let's fight these fools. Plenty of them. Looks like a five man fight. Which we are fighting immediately. See ya. Fortunately, the whole fight is the arena, so I can't just get out of it. That's, an, that's a shame. Oh well. Fight. Here we go. These guys appear to really dislike magic. Yeah, they're weak to all forms of magic. A normal tolerance of resistance to everything else. These guys are strong against everything, but avoid uh, physical attacks like the plague. I'm glad they didn't uh, use Wind Slash again, otherwise I'd have been dead. Okay. Right then. The hope is that by the time you get to the end of each area, you can max out the Crystarium. You really want to be doing that. Rather than wasting time. Life Siphon is good. It basically means I can take a little bit of HP and get some more. Right. That one done. Snow's already nearly finished. Basically, after they're, after they're finished, you just stockpile CP. There's no reason not to. Burnt water, so if anyone's weak to water or anything else, that'd be good. Right, onward. As you can see, right now the game has very specific roles for what the character should be. Like, Lightning's a commando, Snow is a sentinel, uh, Vanille is a medic. Eventually the game stops that and lets you pick what you want each character to be. Which I think they should have done to begin with, but that's just me. Uh -oh. that doesn't look right. There we go. Give me that. BM to strike, baby! <laughs> Aggression bass. I love the noises these make. They're also quite strong. In terms of like actual HP. look at them. They're weak to fire and lightning. Aft against water, so don't use water against them. They have 2400 HP. They have about as much HP as the Falci did, but uh, lower defenses, obviously. Yeah, so they'll use Aero and Blizzard and things because it's strong against it. You may also notice that the uh, use of magic on enemies makes their stagger bar go down real quick, but the use of physical attacks makes their stagger bar go down slow. That's important to remember. Because sometimes it's the difference between staggering someone or not. You want to be able to do that. You want to be able to stagger them every time. Right. The left is the way we want to go. You always check the map. It's useful to know which way you want to go and which way is uh, optional. You want to do the optional stuff because that leads to treasure. Almost always. Now if I could get a better blitz off, 
I'll be happier. But some of these are going to be uh, not staggered anymore. Quickly. There we go. Right, now they're all staggered. Which makes my life a lot quicker. They just die. Yep. That's what you want to do. I, want, I, I tried to do that first time and kind of fucked it up. But that's what you want to be doing. You got a silver bangle. Silver bangles just mean you have even more HP. Which means I might as well give the iron bangle to them because they're not going to use it. Right, one more of them. Good. You're done. So snow never gets any stronger. Then there's four more for that and then some medic skills as well. And I'm just going to let Hope and uh, Saz just level up eventually. When I have to control them, I'll do it all at one go. It is very quick to level things up. Especially with the more CP you have. But like I said, I don't want to do it every single node. I usually wait for about 100, maybe 150 before I start leveling things up. I think the maximum I ever saw it get is like 64,000 for one node. All the messed up ways to meet. I might as well make introductions. I'm Snow. Snow Villiers. Short stuff? Hope. Hope best time. What about her? Bodum Security Regiment. She goes by Lightning. Last name's Farron. First, anybody's guess. I'm Neil. Saz, Catroy. Good to meet you. Kids have to get dragged into this. I'll keep the kids out of trouble. <laughs> Problem with that is, you're one of them. Hey, trying to take on the post foul C. That was our first mistake. We should have left it to the Sanctum. Hey! Why not? I mean, we've counted on the Sanctum's foul C for food, water, everything we've needed since the time we were born. But you still helped us do it. Why is that? Gotta be something. Yeah, it might have been. Not so sure anymore. Okay. <sighs> Onward. Uh, yeah, the game's kind of interesting with all this, like, in-character dialogue that talks between each other while you're just walking around. It's pretty cool. It's like integrating the conversations to the gameplay makes it feel a bit more real. And I like that a lot. It is one of my favourite things about the game is that the characters talk to each other and have actual conversations while you're just walking around. The problem with it is, and there is a problem to it, is if you get into a fight it interrupts it. As you may understand, obviously that makes sense, but uh, you can sort of miss the thread of what you were talking about before. I think these guys are weak to every magic. Just too easy. And they also are worth shit all in terms of CP. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of this. Also from now on, uh, every fight you get, whether your party are together or not, gives every character CP. That does stockpile from now on. 50 gil! Wow. Those are already stockpiling. He's full up. All to the brim of CP. CP, if you say it like that, it sounds a bit dirty, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to fill you up with CP, baby. Um, it doesn't mean anything bad. It's just a thing. Right. They're dead. Just too easy. Eventually, enemies get so easy that you can't possibly kill them with the animations in time to get the five stars. Because some fights are like, hey, you should finish it in two seconds, and you physically can't.
But that's not, again, that's not the game's fault. It's just like an algorithm. And the points don't actually do anything. So it's not like I'm uh, losing out on anything by not five-starring. You just get more items, I think. More rewards. I believe that's the point. I can one-shot these guys. Lightning is strong. With the power of Band and the Gladius at the same time. Or Gladius, or whatever you want to say it. She kills things really quick. Magician's Mark. Now this is a thing worth having. It makes your magic even better. Vanille can lose the HP and just gain magical strength out the wazoo. I'm fine with that. There's also those little sections where you jump through bits of level and then you do a little flourish at the end and it's super cool. Like lightning, I don't think any of the character besides lightning does it, but she does loads of flips. When she lands after a load of series of jumps, she just flips. gonna leave her? Psycom will be here soon. If they find us, we're all dead. You think Sarah'd want that? You think you know how she feels? If I leave her, then I'll never know. We'll be fine. I can handle anything they throw at us. No one will die. I'll protect Sarah and Cocoon. Protected to you? I can save her! What can you possibly do? Whatever it takes! That probably hurts. With the metal on the end. Getting punched in the face with that twice probably hurts quite a lot. You just can't admit it. I want to stay as much as he does. Uh oh Basically, is saying this thing will kill you if you don't stagger it. But I'm not going to worry about that. Right. Now we switch to aggression and beat the shit out of it. This has 32,000 HP. With crystal vein, and I died. I can't stop now. So if it is Crystal Rain, I have to Paradigm Shift into Solidarity. Okay, fair enough. No problem. Uh, if you die at a boss, as I just did, uh, then you need to skip the cutscene. But if you skip the cutscene, it's really easy. You go straight back into the fight. No. Don't need the tutorial, thank you. Yep. In the early game bosses, you'll die a lot because there's nothing else you can do. Stay 
Maybe I was a bit aggressive. Let it do crystal rain and then we'll attack. Oh, phone call. Uh, I don't really want to answer this right now, but I'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, sorry about that. Phone call. Someone asked one for my little brother. Now we go deep. Crystal rain's done. Let's go in. Snow will be fine. He has so much HP. What are they weak to? We don't know yet. Okay. We're doing like 500 damage a hit. That's real good. And the higher the uh, percentage gets, the more damage you do. So it can be worth getting it even more painful using magic still. But we want to do this for now. That's how much HP left? 8,000. Okay. You know, it's going to take two cycles. I'll just heal up snow and then we'll go again. Here we go. Quickly. Kill it for is there anything else? Just crystal raining and we die. Here we go. Thanks for the five stars, baby. I was a bit aggressive with my relentless assault. You're leaving? Please don't you leave like Sarah too. But without tools, we could be digging for days. The army's on our trail. And for now, we gotta keep moving. For now. So I just abandoned her and saved myself? What about your focus? What happened to banding together and saving the world? Isn't that what you promised? Now you want to forget it all and die right here? Got a point, you know. Snow, you're nothing but talk. Lightning! I'll do whatever it takes. I'll finish this focus and keep Sarah safe. That's my promise. Great job so far. Come on now, Lightning. Gotta be a Stand bit more fair you. than that. Mm -hmm. You do. Get going. Later. Okay. Save it for next time, kiddo. For good left behind. But... But... Uh... It's okay, Hope. Light will take care of you. We'll meet again. <laughs> yeah. Count on it. Take him a while, especially since he doesn't want to break any part of her. Count on it. He has to dig all the way around the outside of it. Lightning, Vanille, and says. 
Here he is, the big says. If you put any equipment on uh, snow, it's gone. So that silver bangle that I put on him, it's gone. It, it's still there. When I get him back in the party, he'll be he'll have it, but for now it's gone. There we go. Good. Now then. Oh, I want to do synergist, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I've got about five minutes or ten minutes left of this episode. On we, on we go. Lightning was a little bit unfair to snow there, which I don't I, I don't like snow, but it's okay to, you know, to say when he uh, is being treated unfairly. How is he supposed to know? She doesn't explain why it's his fault either yet. So. Right, let's fight these Russian bass. Well, fuckers. I want some new guns. Good guns would be nice. Oh well. Uh oh. No, uh, preemptive for me. This could be tricky. With attacks like that, it shouldn't be too bad. Also, the, uh, the attack you stagger someone with is important. Be the difference between you getting a lot of stagger out of them and not a lot of stagger out of them. Basically, what I did there was just heal myself very briefly because I was taking a lot of damage. This is going to be a short stagger, or relatively short. Whereas I think if you hit them with purely physical attacks to get the last bit of the stagger done, you get a lot. Of uh, stagger out of them, and it lasts a long time. Yeah, you can already see we're starting to take a lot more damage because they're focusing lightning down. I think some enemies or some AI know that the game ends if lightning dies, even if the others don't. I do believe that. At least to some capacity, is true. I just jump straight in there. Fuck it. Next save point, we're going to stop wherever that is. If it's another 20 minutes, that's fine, I can wait. But if it's uh, in two seconds, then I stop there as well. There will be one soon, because we just fought a boss. I think the game does autosave, but I don't want to rely on autosaving. I always... My dad uh, taught me that autosaves can't really be trusted. If you always do a manual save, then you have something to prove that you saved the game. If you, if you rely on auto saves and it doesn't save, then you could lose all your progress. Auto saves can fail, you know? They're not foolproof. Den Abdullahs. Just what I was looking for. Yeah. Give me that magic. Up the pipe. This reminds me of FF7 a bit, like the. Uh, bit where they drain all the Mako out of the reactors to fire a cannon. I'm not going to say any more than that for spoilers, but those pipes remind me of that. Speaking of, FF7 Remake, please show us something at E3, please. Five minutes of gameplay footage would make me okay. probably I cry with joy. Cool on this. Do not shake the slippery too. scary for a lot of reasons. Oh, these guys are weaker versions of the Russian bass. So they're not so bad. The, the, the red ones. The Bloodfang bass. They're actually quite easy. The Russian bass is like the boss. The game wants to like trick you into thinking it's like, oh god, so scary. These guys are so hard. But no. Actually, they're really easy. The, the red ones are easy. The actual Russian bass are hard. They hit, especially for this point in the game, they hit fairly, dip, like 70 damage is a lot of damage. But everything else, the Bloodfang Bats are actually really easy. They die in like one hit. Especially to Lightning's attacks. And they're also smaller. You can see that they aren't as strong. Quickly. There we go. 
get that uh, preemptive strike on the go. Ooh. Worship Blast is the one I want to hit first. He's the one who wants to die first. So even if they aren't staggered, I kill them in one hit, so it's no big deal. But the Bresham Bass wouldn't die in one hit. And the game accounts for that, like, you being smart and going, you know what, I want to hit this guy. He's the one who wants to actually be killed. Which I think is interesting, too. I think lots of things are interesting, though, so you can ignore me, for the most part. Right, where's the next no, save point? It's going to be up here somewhere. You can go through hours of game without saving. Still couldn't talk to him. You'll never get past this if you don't say something. Words won't change anything. But next time we meet, you'll learn exactly how I feel. And what does that mean? What does what does that mean though? You'll learn exactly how you feel. You're gonna kill him? Because I'd rather you didn't. You're gonna be in our party for quite a while. I'd like you to keep him alive. What's this? We go ex examine this. Looks operational. <laughs> God, we made a path. Uh, that's another thing you can do in this game. Those little circles mean you can operate something or work with something, and you want to do that because otherwise you can't really go forward. I don't think this one's optional. I think some are. 103% is pathetic. 103% might be like one hit of anything staggers you. It's really not good. But that would probably be my stagger ratio if I was in this game. 103. Hit me with anything, I'll stagger. Some enemies have 999 stagger, which means they never stagger. Which is pretty funny. Well, actually, I think they do stagger, but they they will never take any more damage than they already took. Right, let's get the Bressions. Blood Fangs, not important. Bressions, very important. There's so many of them. Here we go. Clear. Stagger gauge open. Just keep the stagger gauge open. Keep it open. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. It's open. It's done. It's sorted. Right, the Russian bass unfortunately lost his stagger, but that's okay. The red ones will die each time I blitz them. So if I just keep blitzing them, eventually they'll be killed. Okay, you kill them. Kill you. And the final one will die very quickly. There we go. About nine enemies just killed. Easy peasy every time. No trouble. Right. Before we move on, let's Crystarium just to make sure we've done it. Right. She's nearly done with Commando. Vanille will absolutely be done with Ravager. Oh, that one costs 120, you sneaky bitch. Guess not. Saz is already expensive. And it gets more expensive as we go along. Oh! Uh, you will be leveled up soon, but not now. Onward. There's the save point. Okay. Let's just do here. We might get a cutscene first, but probably not. Alright then. So we're going to save the game here. And then, next time, what we're going to do is uh, continue through Lake Brescia. Find out what happened to Snow, possibly. And that's it. See you guys then. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.